Leave it 851, turn right heading 180. Turn right 245, report localizer established. Airworthiness directives are relatively common within the aviation industry. The definition of an airworthiness directive, or more commonly referred to as very simply AD, is as follows. They are legally enforceable rules issued by governing bodies like that of the EASA, the European Aviation Safety Agency, and the FAA, the Federal Aviation Administration, and others alike, following 14 CFR Part 39, which is not the most straightforward letter and number combination, as this may be somewhat confusing, it certainly is to me. Basically, it demands that an aircraft, aircraft engine, a propeller, or overall an appliance that is deemed unsafe is corrected to a safe standard. The Boeing 737 MAX, Boeing 787, and even the Airbus A320neo have all received airworthiness directives over recent years, with some being of course more severe than others, and therefore some also being more demanding to fix. According to the Aviation Week, which will be linked in the sources area of the description, the EASA, the European Aviation Safety Governing Body, is eyeing up mandating to Airbus a modification on the world's largest passenger plane, the Airbus A380. The mandate would address A380 fuselage cracks that are being discovered by customers still operating the aircraft. Cracks that, might I add, have actually been found during airlines already going through a mandate and fixed on the world's largest passenger plane that the EASA implemented a year or so ago. Typically, whenever an aviation body issues an airworthiness directive, certain flying hours or flight cycles are indeed outlined. The purpose of this is to give the affected operators guidance as to when the fix needs to be implemented by. So it would be between, say, 2,100 flight cycles and that of 6,750 when it needs to be done. This directive, though, single-handedly impacts the European operators of the aircraft series, which, following the global pandemic, has undoubtedly seen a large portion disappear. This means that initially, a large number of the aircraft in question that would have come under questioning basically with regards to the directive are now in storage or have been completely retired and have no hope of returning to the industry, following, as we know, international demand levels being lower than necessary for the A380 to be flying and not pulling in severe losses for the airlines in question. What are your thoughts on the mandate that the EASA is looking at imposing on Airbus following the finding of new problems? Feel free to drop your thoughts in the comments below and like I mentioned at the beginning of the video, you can see the full article by Aviation Week in the description, specifically the sources area. It is most definitely worth a read. Thank you very, very much for watching another video here on the channel and I will see you in next time. Oh,